Alright, so we've got a demand equation where the price of x is equal to 10 minus 2q and a supply equation where the price of x is equal to 2 plus 2q. And uh, the question asks, so, so here's our, our supply curve uh, and our demand curve um, graphically and the equilibrium price should be $6. The equilibrium quantity is 2. So you can solve those, compute those out from those supply and demand equations. And then we're going to ask the question, okay, what happens when the, the government puts in a, a price floor of $8? So what happens to the uh, consumer surplus? How much consumer surplus uh, are the consumers receiving when there's a price floor of eight dollars. $8. Remember, price floor says the price can't go below that eight dollars. So where would it be? Tip typically, you'll see supply, demand, equilibrium price, and quantity, and the consumer surplus is represented here. So this is the area above the price and below the demand curve. So your consumer surplus would be this area, consumer surplus. So what happens whenever there's a price floor? Well, now the price is higher. And so again, it's still the area between above the price, below the, the uh, demand curve. But now instead of being this entire triangle with the price floor in place, it's just this smaller triangle. So this would be the consumer surplus when there's that price floor of eight bucks. So we've got to compute that area. So how, how do we figure out that area? Well, we, we've got to figure out, uh, well, we, we know that the area of a triangle is one half base times height, but we've got to figure out the base and the height of that triangle. So how would you do that? Well, we've got a demand equation. So we have this demand equation, and we want to know, well, what, what's this point? And one thing we know about that point is that we don't know what the price is, but we know that the quantity at this point is zero. And so if we take this demand equation and we say, well, we know the quantity is zero, then we've got erase this. So we've got that the price of x is equal to 10 minus 2 times the quantity of zero. Well, then the price of x is 10. And so this intersection of the demand curve is 10. All right, so we've got the height of this triangle. So this is going to be 2. Now we need the base. How are we going to figure that out? Well, what do we know about this point? Well, we know that the price is 8. But we don't know what the, the quantity is. So we can go back to our demand equation and say, well, if the price is 8 bucks, then our demand equation is 10 minus 2q, then we can solve for q. If we, if we know it's 8, we can find this quantity. And so if uh, we subtract 10, subtract 10, we should get minus 2 equal to minus 2q, and so our quantity is 1. And so we're at uh, this point here is, is the price of 8, uh, quantity of 1. And so now we can figure out the area of this triangle because this is 1, so we've got a, a, a 1 half times the base, which is 1, times the height, which is $2, and so that area the consumer surplus is equal to 1.